me? All of our friends are around the corner of the banquet hall waiting for you to arrive in this dress. Karen and I have decided to throw you a surprise 80s prom party. Let us now set sail for those halcyon days when everybody wanted to rule the world. <laughs> oh boy, this new movie that's coming out this weekend is a, a real love letter to the classic 80s movies, especially those made by the great John Hughes. Later Days is the name of it, shot entirely here in the Chicago area about an 80s themed surprise party featuring a who's who of Chicago acting and community uh, comedy talent. It's written and directed by Naperville native Brad, Brad Riddell, and uh, who's also a screenwriter and also a tenured professor at DePaul's School of Cinematic Arts and stars among many others, a longtime friend of the old morning show here, uh, actor, comedian, SNL alum. Welcome back, Tim Kazarin. Dean, long time no see. <laughs> Good heavens, we haven't. You are a, you're a pre-pandemic long time friend. I know, of, I of know. The morning show. It's nice to still be here. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> what have you been doing during all of this time off? I mean, uh, actors were <laughs> actors were just out of work for quite a while. I've been eating. I, I oh. got about a ten. I got pen, about an extra ten pandemic pounds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you? Uh, were you writing? Were you? Well, actually, I was doing a, a little online thing with Brad and Sandy's uh, uh, Stern, uh, Stern, Sternshine, yep. Sternshine, and uh, called Distant Learner. So, uh, a, a lot of the people in this film were we were all doing this Zoom thing, and it was so much fun. It was oh, great. Good. So you were able to keep yeah. busy during the whole yeah. thing. That's great, Brad. This is uh, so cool that. Uh, this whole thing is uh, shot in Chicago. It's set in Chicago. I mean, it is uh, it is about as John Hughes as you can get, uh, certainly from that aspect of it. Uh, why did you do that? Well, that was our intention from the beginning. We we felt like um, you know this is a story about uh, people in in their regular lives. You know, this isn't a uh, a big high concept idea, and we wanted it to look like. Um, everybody, you know, mid Midwestern, everybody's everyday life and people's everyday problems. And uh, also, we love those John Hughes movies, and he featured Chicago, as you know, in, in the movies as a character. Um, and so we tried to make as much use of the city as we could in telling the story and the entire crew all Chicago based and I would say 95% of the cast. Yeah, I love I loved uh, just in watching this that there are so many people that I know from plays, from stand up comedy, from uh, TV shows that, that are shot uh, here in Chicago, which Tim is going to be on one of them tonight. We'll talk about that in a, a second. But I, I love that, I mean, you really incorporated the best of Chicago in this movie. Yeah, we have uh, Audrey Francis, who's now, you know, running Steppenwolf, uh, and uh, not David too Pas shabby. Not too yeah, shabby. Yeah. And David Pasquese. Fran Guinan, yeah. uh, Jason Boggs, who, his dance his, it kills me. It, it's like the what's up with that crazy dance. But uh, this is uh, uh, some idiot husband plans a surprise party for his overworked wife and invites all these people from high school. And it, it's, they're not all great. They're not all friends. And it all, it turns to you know what. So, uh, but it's really pretty fun. Yeah, sometimes memories are better right, oh, yeah, of the yeah. old days than yeah, best what day. reality uh, is now. Uh, you know, if I wasn't impressed with your credentials enough, uh, Brad, and, you know, being a tenured professor, at DePaul and a screenwriter. Uh, I, I had read that you did your thesis on American Pie, one of the American Pie movies. If I had known you could do thesis on something like that, I would have done much better in school. Well, uh, actually, it was my thesis screenplay. It was called um, Band Geek at the time. Uh, and it, it, went, it was just after the first American Pie had been released. Band Geek uh, went out into the studio system. And Universal saw it and said that we have our next American Pie movie, and Love they, it. they turned it into American Pie Bandcamp. That's a, that's amazing. Ah. And uh, Tim, uh, you've been uh, keeping busy. As a matter of fact, you had mentioned to me that uh, you're going to be on which of the Chicago TV Chicago show? Med Tonight. Chicago Med yes. Tonight. I will be very uh, uh, orange because uh, I am um, <laughs> in need of a liver transplant. Oh. I'm, 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 in fact, next week I find out if I live or die. Oh, so, so this is a, a two-episode yeah. arc, mm, arc yeah. for you. Yeah, this is a very ex extended yeah. cameo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can we look forward to you doing other diseases? 
<laughs> as well? <laughs> I guess we had doctor on SNL with all the diseases. So yeah. I got plenty of other diseases. <laughs> yeah. The uh, movie is called uh, Later Days. It opens uh, this weekend in theaters and will be streamed on Apple TV. You can find out more at Later Days Movie. Dot com uh, Brad Riddell and our pal Tim Kazarinski. Thank you guys for coming in. Thanks.